I want to talk to you about how you can break the grip of multiple sclerosis just like I have. Multiple sclerosis causes breakdown of the blood-brain barrier. It's a complex organization of cells that are called endothelial cells. It prevents outside cells of the immune system, like lymphocytes, from entering our central nervous system, creating havoc and causing our symptoms and ultimately causing our sclerosis when they enter they trigger a local immune response that ultimately damages myelin as well as axons. You may ask, why, is, why does this breakdown happen? What can we do to prevent it? Hey, it's Steve. Please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Thanks. Was that the end of your fork? Has a great influence on the protection of the blood brain barrier. Recently, I watched a, a video from Dr. Brandon Baber, made me start to think about it. I'll put a link down in the description to his video. The topic was about the book, Overcoming Multiple Sclerosis, which apparently had a scientific study done on it. So the diet is a plant and seafood based diet. The authors of the book provided the results of a study about the long-term effects that the followers of the diet had. So it really gets into the weeds about the study itself. If you're interested about the study results, watch it. But I'll tell you the main takeaways. I'm also going to tell you about how unknowingly I adopted a very similar diet years ago. Thankfully, you can incorporate their recommendations into your own diet and prevent future disability. Talking about diets is always tricky. I know. We all love the foods we love, and there has to be pretty big reason to make us change. They stressed a whole foods diet with focus mainly on plants and seafood. And I mostly agree with it. And it seems obvious. But what really caught my eye was the effects, the negative effects that red meat has. So my diet. Protein makes up 44% of it. Although not seafood, it's chicken, which is also a white meat. It's essential to build muscle and the muscle let me escape my symptoms and MS progression. So I wanna be clear, it's not about meat as a whole. We are talking about red meat. My 44% consists of chicken breast, chicken eggs, and whey protein powder made from chicken eggs. I do drink milk from cows, but that protein is not considered red meat. <sighs> the huge deciding factor is the debate between red and white meat. So you may ask, what makes red meat so bad for MS? 
It goes hand in hand with what I talked about at the beginning of this video, the blood band barrier. Our MS genes dictate we absolutely must protect the barrier strength. This might be what sets off multiple sclerosis in the first place. It has been shown now that eating red meat is associated with higher levels of an inflammatory marker called C-reactive protein. The interactions of C-reactive protein and the blood-brain barrier does two things. First, it makes the barrier permeable. And that's big, and as a result, the second one is that it enables entry of inflammatory immune cells into the brain and spinal cord and sets off neuroinflammation. All over food, we have complete control over. I'll admit, in an ideal world, we shouldn't have to think about the foods we eat. But we don't live in an ideal world. MS makes us. And it may, I realized that years and years and years ago. And I decided to do whatever it took to escape it. And in the end, thankfully, this is pretty easy to do. What do you think? Is red meat something you're willing to give up? Leave a comment down in the description and let me know. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.